Welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. Today's video could have been any of about four different things I'm working on right now. I mentioned a little while ago I was going to put together a freshwater version of the algae filter, and that is in progress. I wasn't quite ready yet to show, and I do want to do a few more things for it. Uh, the other thing is I want to put together a desktop aquarium that's going to have a lot of different aspects of the new filtration systems including the high humidity built into it and I want input from you guys on this and that was actually gonna be a really cool project but again it wasn't quite ready to start so that got it, it's coming <laughs> uh, the third thing is I've been getting back to a lot of aquariums uh, ones that I haven't seen in about four months or three months or whatever it's been now it's, it's so easy to lose track of time and how they look and which filters did better and all that sort of stuff is actually some really interesting results and that is going to be coming up. Uh, it's actually probably going to end up being a series because I want to show some befores, uh, talk about the filters, and then also I want to cover again how they're going to, I'm going to get them back to looking like, they, like they've actually been maintained by someone who knows what they're doing instead of just, you know, sitting on someone's shelf forever. And that leaves uh, what I'm actually going to get to today. And this came about because my acrylic supplier a little while ago, when I, uh, I mentioned I picked up some uh, one quarter inch acrylic, uh, he had said at the time that one eighth inch was in really short supply uh, because of all the COVID things that they had to do. They were building lots of shields and separators and everything for people. And he said it's on back order and the earliest he could probably get it would be June 20th. So yesterday, I, on the off chance that he might have actually gotten it in, I stopped by and he actually had it. It was great. Uh, they got a bunch of sheets in, so I got them to cut me up one. And while that was happening, I uh, had a look around and they had a length of three quarter inch Delrum. It's another thing that I had run out of. And it is really snug. Like, you could probably pound it in with a hammer onto this. Uh, for the inside diameter of one inch acrylic, the outside diameter of one inch. And that led to uh, me thinking that it'd be interesting to put together a video of functional uh, air pump silencer. I did one on Sunday, just a mock-up, uh, just to show you that it actually works. And this is going to be a functional one. I'll actually be able to plug it in. And of course, while I was at it, I was thinking, uh, one of the things I actually never made, uh, this is a three quarter inch by the way, uh, one thing I've never put together is a reverse flow check valve. And Delrin is a little light. I should probably use uh, something like brass for this, uh, but I don't have any brass in. So I thought I would just try it out and see how it works and see what kind of uh, issues it might have to see if it actually would work at all for one thing and then if it, if it proves that it might be uh, feasible uh, then I'll pick up a piece of brass sometime in the near future and uh, make one with a bit of weight to it because that's what it needs it needs a think of it like a ball valve uh, one you've seen the ones that float up with air and then come back down and seat in place uh, because this is acrylic, uh, the inside diameter of extruded acrylic is highly variable. Uh, so the only way I can get it to seat at all would be on the Delrin part. And uh, I don't really want to try machining a recess for a ball. I may actually have to end up going to some kind of bevel or whatever. But for the moment, I'm just going to machine it completely flat. And we'll end up seeing how that works as well. It's just something I want to try out. The silencer itself, though, uh, should be really quite straightforward to put together, and uh, that's going to be the first part, obviously, that I test out. So what I've done here so far is I've just brought uh, the three-quarter inch down ever so slightly, uh, probably by, well, it varies a bit. Again, the inside diameter for extruded acrylic is not constant. Uh, let's just call it about anywhere between three and five thousandths of an inch. And now, uh, now that we got it all set up, I'm going to flatten both ends, and then uh, what we'll do is get to the process of machining this so we can actually put an airline it and all that sort of stuff. There are a number of different ways I could have machined this. Uh, the simplest would have been to uh, 
Now take it down to size and then run a quarter inch drill bit through it and then that is a friction fit for the uh, rigid tubing I've been using, the quarter inch uh, acrylic tubing, uh, the ones I've been using for the airlines all along. It would look good, uh, it would have worked fine, I, but I wanted to keep it to as few parts as possible, so I went with this option. I'm just taking it down to size, uh, just straight from uh, the friction fit inside the diameter for the three quarter inch, uh, and then just moving it down to uh, airline tubing size. Now, the reason why I'm leaving this clip here is <laughs> this illustrates uh, one of the things I really like about Delray. I know I go on about it a lot, but I haven't moved the distance for uh, for taking it down. I've moved it back, I think, about two thousandths of an inch just to, for a fine finish. And now I'm going to take the whole thing down all at once. And then, of course, do the last little bits. And it machines so nicely. <laughs> I really do like this stuff. And then it's going to finish that off. Now all I need to do here after this is uh, run a drill bit through the center of this and it's done. Uh, well actually no, I do need to put a, a bevel on the end of this as well. Make sure they're all chamfered on all sides. Just, just so it fits in easier. Uh, there's no other reason for doing it than that. Uh, airline tubing is quite flexible and it'll fit over regardless. So this uh, is the largest drill bit I have that will fit through here. It's still leaving me with enough material that it won't uh, weaken the walls. Uh, but again, it's, it doesn't really matter. And that's pretty much it. Those are all the machining steps. Uh, the only thing I cut out, uh, besides some of the repetitive stuff to, <laughs> to keep the video down to a reasonable length, is I also uh, cut out the machining for the plug, the movable plug. You'll see it near the end here. Uh, the one that's going to hopefully uh, create the anti-backflow. Uh, it's, it's just a matter of just taking a piece of Delrin uh, down a little bit further, so it's obviously not friction fit, so it just uh, slides back and forth easily in the tube. Now, this is actually a little out of order. Uh, I forgot to film <laughs> this part initially. I had put it all together as a full unit, and then I realized that this was the original part that I wanted to do, uh, so I went back and filmed this uh, afterwards. That's why things look a little wet. So there you go. This is just the silencer by itself. It's a very easy process to put it together, and it works really well. There's nothing I can say against this. Uh, it does cut down on sound, and uh, I don't have any issues. Like it's easy to put together. I mean, you saw all the steps involved in making it, and it could probably be done much easier with some other materials as well, uh, but this is what I have. So There you go. It works, and when you unplug it, it because of the height difference on the, from the water to the top of the tank. There's no real risk of backflow here anyway. Uh, well, there you go. That's it. And now we'll actually get to the part I filmed first. This actually illustrates uh, how tight a friction fit you need uh, between uh, Delrin and acrylic to give you a nice airtight gap. Like I said so many times already, its uh, internal diameter is not consistent and it's actually not even completely and totally truly round so it does require a bit of force to get it on but once you've done this it's a good seal and you're, you don't have to worry about it and there you go, just going to stuff in a piece of wadding uh, this is just polyester and then see the difference is here that's that is the piece of uh, Delrin that I machined down so it, it flops back and forth nice and easily and now uh, this is just a bushing I made and we'll put that together with uh, the, the extra chamber and hopefully, like I said, I rather would have made this out of brass because it has a bit of weight to it but this flops nicely and hopefully it'll have enough weight and we'll uh, check it out and see how it works and there you go that is the full unit put together here I'll give you a close up here in a second just to, to have a quick look at it I mean, it looks nice. Uh, if I wanted it more functional, I probably should have machined it all out of brass uh, just to make it work better. But this works fine as far as the silencer part goes. I will I'll find out soon enough about whether or not uh, the reverse flow works because water has a fair amount of pressure to it. 
and it can seep around things, and if, like as in this case, the Delrin is too light, uh, it will just, it'll just move around it. It wouldn't, uh, it won't be heavy enough to stop it. So here you go. The whole unit works fine. You can't see it, but that little piece of Delrin does move up and down a bit with when I turn on the air, turn off the air, turn on the air, turn off the air. It does actually bounce up and down a little bit, but it's uh, very difficult to see. So we're getting pretty close to the end of this video. If you like this style, please like and or subscribe and always leave lots of comments. Let me know what you think and if there's any ideas that you have that uh, you'd like to see, uh, definitely let me know. So we're going to get to now me sucking on the end of this. And I had to suck fairly hard, but it does actually uh, siphon if you pull hard enough on it. So what I did now is I didn't have any brass, but I had a little bit of aluminum. Unfortunately, it was a fairly small diameter, but it was already round. It was easy to, uh, yeah, that's me rattling it in there. So it was easy to put together, and I thought I'd give that a try for uh, the reverse load. Unfortunately, it is no more heavy than uh, the Delrin was. So yeah, it doesn't work either. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Much appreciated. And I will see you in the next video. And bye for now.